Hi, my name is Stephanie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today I'm going to demo and swatch these two lipsticks from the new Chanel Nuit Blanche collection. I picked up the shades 0300 and 0700. They're the two pinks that are in the collection. And I, as you can see on my arm, have swatched them and I've done some comparison swatches as well. So if you'd like to see what these are like on me and what um, kind of dupes or similars these two shades are to other lipsticks, then stay tuned and keep watching. This lipstick formula is the Rouge Allure Velvet. It's not a new lipstick formula. This formula exists in their regular range. Um, however, the difference is that instead of getting this white and black trim case, um, it comes in their usual black and gold case. Um, now, this lipstick formula is a luminous matte formula. That's what it's described as. So it's meant to be intense color, long wear matte lipstick. Um, and obviously with the word luminous, it's meant to leave a bit of a sheen. And you can see from the promo photos that it does leave a bit of a sheen on them. Um, it is, it looks like it is silicone and wax based, but it does contain some shea butter and castor oil as well, as well as a peptide right at the very end. Um, now, <clears throat> I have never really been into Chanel lipstick. I don't know why, but probably because my gateway into lipstick was Lisa Eldridge. So I think had I known, I maybe might not have been so crazy <laughs> to get one of these um, because um, you are paying a premium for this limited edition packaging. I just had a quick look at the regular line Rouge Allure Velvet lipsticks shades and it looks to me like all the ones in the Nuit Blanche collection, except for two of the colors, already exist in a very similar form in the regular line. Um, and this is just based on looking at their promo photos and also the color descriptions. Um, the two in the Nuit Blanche that I couldn't find like a similar, like I can pick a similar one out immediately are 0400, which is that warm brown one, and 0700, which is the um, kind of fresh early morning pink one. Um, so that's just something to bear in mind if you haven't already bought these lipsticks. Um, Chanel's char in the UK, Chanel is charging for these Nuit Blanche ones, 42 pounds retail. I saw at Harrods, they're actually being sold at the same price as the regular ones, which is 37 pounds. And, and yeah, so, so you are paying a premium, a slight premium for this um, packaging, which admittedly is very chic and very beautiful. And I absolutely fell hard for it. That's, that was probably the main driver of uh, seeking this collection out. Although um, I think they've done well with their promotion of it, the marketing of it. I think the idea is very kind of captivating and of course putting Margot Robbie on as the face of it. And then of course, you know, having this kind of hush hush like pop up in Edinburgh for it that has, you know, hasn't actually started yet. Although by the time I upload this video, it may have. So it's an interesting one. I, I don't regret getting them because I picked after a lot of deliberation, I picked the two colors that I was sure, like quite sure would work for me. Um, and I was quite tempted to go back for more colors, but um, the rest of the range is just very warm based. And I feel that I probably would not reach for those colors that often, even if they might be nice on. Okay, so here you have 0700 and, oh, sorry, 0, 0300 and 0700 and just some dupes, I guess, or similars. Um, so I've got Lisa Eldridge, Love of My Life. I'm going to pop here. So you can see the tone is quite similar, but this one's got a bit more vibrancy to it, whereas this one seems a bit more muted. Okay, next I've got Velvet Pompadour, just here. That one is more muted. A bit more red, actually, and a bit more sienna toned, which I'm surprised about. 
Next, we've got Skyscraper Rose from, again, Lisa Eldridge. So here, you can see that Lisa Eldridge's version has a, a lot more vibrancy than the Chanel Skyscraper Rose, but the tone is pretty much the same. And I was quite sure that they were going to be dupes because when I first popped this 0300 on my lips, it really reminded me a lot of how Skyscraper Rose looks on me. Um, so the Skyscraper Rose is still a brighter version, like it's got m a bit more vibrancy and almost like a bit of neon intenseness to it, which actually I'm curious if this would build up. Let's see. So it builds up to be more saturated, but not more vibrant. Um, I hope you can pick this up. And in, in the viewfinder, what I can see is they do look pretty similar, but in real life, this um, skyscraper rose has a lot more vibrancy, almost like a neonness to it, that more so than the uh, Chanel version. Okay, just for completeness sake, I've also pulled out Velvet Carnival, but Velvet Carnival is a completely different type of pink. But I'm just going to pop that here so that you can see what it's like. And again, I don't know if this light is going to pick it up, but um, in real life, what I can see is Velvet Carnival has got a lot more blue in it. It's hard to describe it. It's not as red based as the other ones are. So Velvet Pompadour, Love of My Life, Velvet Carnival and Skyscraper Rose. And in the middle is the Chanel Rouge Allure Velvet from this limited Nuit Blanche collection 0300. And these are what I have in my collection that are similar. Right, now for 0700. The one that it really reminded me of, actually, is Lisa Eldridge Dance Card, although Dance Card is going to have a bit more of an orange tone to it. So I'm going to swatch that one first for you to see. So that's Dance Card. Okay, actually, I'm glad I did this um, because they are dupes, in my opinion. They're virtually the same shade. Um... That explains a lot about why I've started pulling this one out, this dance card out, because I've been wearing this 0700 and then I've been taking this dance card. Let me see if I build it up, if it becomes a different shade. Um, not really. I'm going to build up the other one. So this is 0700. I need to inspect this, not through the viewfinder. On the arm swatch, they're virtually the same color. Um, in all honesty, they are enough that I would say they are the same color. Um, and I'm going to get on to um, which one I prefer later. Uh, just to finish these swatches, so um, here I've next one I'm going to swatch is Lip and Cheek Balm in Healthy Pink. So that one's got a bit more orange, a bit more tawniness to it than the other ones. Hopefully you can see that. The other two are definitely more pink. The other one that I kind of thought about when I wore the 0700 was Chanel Pink Delight. So that's here, this one. And it's again very similar almost virtually the same in the in on camera it looks the same the pink delight is a bit lighter and frostier i think because it has more glitter in it i'm not sure if that has glitter in it at all to be honest but this um pink delight is has got like a bit of glitters in it so it, it gives a more overall frostier and lighter effect but the under base color underneath is quite similar um just don't forget that's the chanel one that's the lisa eldridge one one that i was curious how similar would be is lisa eldridge rosy shell which i'm going to pop here Ooh, which you can see is completely different that's very much a blue based pink and then just um, for the sake of completeness although i don't think either of these two will be very similar i've got 
Lisa Eldridge um, Velvet Petal right here. This is Sunday Matinee right here. So as you can see, Chanel already has this type of shade in their lineup. The Lip and Cheek Balm in Healthy Pink is similar, but a bit has a bit more brown tones in it and this pink delight has pretty much the same tone in it. it just has a different finish to it so it appears a bit lighter and a bit warmer um, in terms of if you already own Lisa Eldridge dance card then I would say you probably don't need that one but the two have a very different finish on the lips first I will demo the 0700 one So with one swipe, that's what it looks like. That's quite a few more swipes. Let's see if it builds any more. That's as much as it will build. There is a bit of a fragrance to it, um, but not, it's not very strong. Okay, so this is what 0700 is like on me. I really fell for this shade. It's very, very pretty and it's very spring-like. Um, the weather has seemed to have turned a corner, even though it's still a bit cold, but the days are so much brighter and the first spring flowers are out, the crocuses, the daffodils the tulips. So I've really been enjoying this color a lot. Um, <clears throat> however, what I find strange about the 0700 one is how quickly it disappears. So I have applied quite a thick layer on, as you can see. Um, it is a, it is a very non-saturated bullet. So as in when you first apply it, it's it's just like a light wash of color, which is fine. Like I, I knew that, I could see that from the promo photos. Um, but it's, but because it's being touted as a matte lipstick, I was expecting it to be somewhat staining. However, what I have found, um, this is the one I've been wearing all week and I've been wearing it to work. What I have found is that it just completely disappears off the lips. Um, as soon, when you first apply it, it's very smooth. It feels very lovely. I think that's due to the silicone in all honesty. And then once the silicone dries down, my lips feel a bit dry. I have dry lips, so take this with a pinch of salt. But the thing that I am not crazy about with this 0700 is how, as it dries down, the color then disappears. Um, and because I was finding it like a bit drying as it dries down, and also I haven't uh, yet posted my Instagram content for it, and Instagram content tends to need the items to look a bit more pristine. Um, I hadn't taken this bullet to work and I had been reaching for this Lisa Eldridge um, dance card, which I've never really loved because dance card was marketed as a kind of muted version of Go Lightly, which I adore. And Go Lightly is one of my best colors, which I've discovered. And every time I put dance card on, it just makes me feel that I should actually just have go lightly on. Um, so dance card is one of those lipsticks that I just reached for when I didn't have any backups of my go lightly. And then once I bought some backups of go lightly, I then ne just never really reached for it again. Um, and so I couldn't work out why I kept reaching for this lipstick. So I've been putting the Chanel one on in the morning and then I've been taking the Lisa Eldridge one with me to work and reapplying it. So now that I have done my arm swatches, I know why, because they are basically the same color. Um, 
What I'm going to do, however, because arm swatches don't always tell the whole story, I'm going to take half of this Chanel off and apply the Lisa Eldridge and then we can see how similar, similar they are on the lips. Half lip. I've used an oil-based uh, remover as well to make sure I got it all off. Make sure I've got the right lipstick as well. So here we've got Lisa Eldridge dance card. So that's one swipe. And let's build it up now because I built this side up. Bear in mind that both of these lipsticks, the first swipe is sheer, okay? And um, because I've got quite like high contrast features, so I, dance card for me always disappears on me until I apply it very thickly. So I have a ver I have quite a thick layer of both lipsticks on right now. So 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 just take this comparison with a little pinch of salt, but it was also so that you could see the color difference as well. This is the Chanel side. This is the Lisa Eldridge side. So I'm not sure if it's coming on the camera. But the Chanel side is more pink and the Lisa Eldridge side is more, it's got more of that kind of peachy, um, slight peachiness to it. However, you could see with first swipe that they looked basically the same and the arm swatch is basically the same. So I would say that um, if you own dance card already, you probably don't need this unless you wish that um, dance card was a bit more pink. Okay, so next, uh, the O300. I'll demo this color on me and then I'm going to do half half. So this bright color obviously has a lot more color payoff. That's one swipe. And then let's see what it's like built up. So this is what the shade 0300 is like on me. And this is built up quite a bit. Um, what you can see now that you couldn't really appreciate with the lighter color, I think, is how much of a sheen there is to this um, luminous matte lip color. It's really gorgeous. I, I really love the way it looks when you apply it on. And I, I love that the first swipe, there's like a bit of translucency to it. So you can like almost see your own lip color underneath. Like I, I like that. Um, if you're really into your true matte lipsticks, then I think you might not like that aspect of this, but I really like that. That seems to suit me. Um, so I, I do like them, don't get me wrong. I just, I wish the other one hung around a bit longer. And in, in my opinion, the other one is kind of more of a tinted lip stick in in all honesty. I have had this on for a few minutes now and it's already kind of drying down and evaporating a little bit it seems. It may not be apparent in the camera because I'm kind of limited with my camera um, but when I look at it um, in a mirror I can see that sheen is kind of already evaporating down and drying down. So what I wonder is how staining this is and how it wears through the day. But I haven't had a chance yet to test that because this isn't really a color that I can wear to work. Okay, so I've taken half off, this half. Let's apply Lisa Eldridge Skyscraper Rose. Okay, so one swipe and you can see already actually that Skyscraper Rose is a bit less red than the Chanel one. But I wonder what it's like built up. However, I think it may not be much different because this is an insanely saturated lip color. So it's kind of, when you swipe it, it's meant to have lots of color to it. 
but let's just build it up anyway. Okay, so a thick layer of Skyscraper Rose. Hopefully it's coming across in the camera. You can see that Skyscraper Rose is definitely a bit more pink and more blue than the Chanel, which is more red. In all honesty, they're virtually the same to me. They're, they're, it's actually a closer match than Dance Card and the other one. So the Chanel side, which is this side, is like a fraction more red and then the Lisa Eldridge side, which is a fraction more of a kind of, I guess, true fuchsia, blue based pink. So thank you very much for joining me and I will see you again soon.